welcome back to anime and beyond today we're gonna react to my hero episode 10. last episode we see kachan and his group go ham against team or i keep saying team class b bako wins and then talks to deku and deku was basically like good job and then kachan kind of just or bako kind of just pushes him off and says i'm gonna be number one i'm gonna stay number one and i'm gonna leave you so far in the dust that you're not gonna be able to catch up to me mm -hmm. and then Midoriya tries to level up him he's like no you shut up so it's still that little you know duel between them two but then also we see Midoriya and his gang we got Mina uh we got uh grapefruit grapefruit grape juice and then and, and uh, Yuraka yeah. and so you know, two couples the, yeah well basically <laughs> Mina's gonna be like what <laughs> I'm curious about grapefruit because I don't know how that's gonna be interesting how Midori is gonna plan it, how to, what to do with him. Yeah. <laughs> like we said last episode, it would be kind of cool to see him utilize different stuff, like maybe throwing some of his, you know, uh, grapefruit balls like really fast at some people, or maybe Yuraka letting it float in the air and then just kind of bringing it down with debris. Mm -hmm. So like they're stuck or something, you know. I think it would be cool to see, uh, regardless. How they utilize him but midori has tag teamed with mina before when it was the invasions the villains invasion right was... and he he has some kind of chemistry with yuraka i mean because oh, I, yeah. I think he's fought with her or alongside with her and mina's just so adaptable so she could fit in with anybody really yeah that's true very interested to see what this episode has to offer so we're gonna get right into it let's get oh oh oh, oh. that's all for one Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're breaking him out of prison? What if what? he was causing it for Deku? How? I don't know. Or he's still connected to the quirk, probably, so he can maybe he just hears it. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So he's the only one who didn't have that dream? Maybe he's like the chosen one or something. I don't know. Or the last line. Oh no, another sad backstory. I just realized he could copy Shinzo's quirk and they would have two brainwashers. He can have two of everything, really. All their people's quirk. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't. Oh. I think it's five on three. Five on four, I mean. Oh, see, he's realizing it. I think he copied all their quirks. I think those are his timers, because he can do it for only so long. Yeah. That might be true. Oh, okay, That's rapid fire. Cool. I like that name. It's like Danny Phantom. That's pretty OP. Nice. Oh, okay, okay. So they're using a combo attack. Dang. That's her quirk. What? Interesting hero name. Oh, she can shrink. That is cool. That is pretty cool. Oh. Nice. That's, that's Yuraka's counter. But she, yeah, she can still fire it. Hmm. Even after she does, that's still... Yeah, that's a good point. Well, now they know where they are. Unless they were never screaming. But they probably were. It's like the Lotus. He blew him twice, man. The second impact. He's trying to get in his head. 
Come on, don't give into it. Don't give into it. Did you just power up? Is it time? What is what does that mean? Oh, what is happening? Oh. His power is like going out of control. Oh dang. Oh, Whoa. It's like controlling wait. him. Oh snap. So it's all coming out at one oh man. Wow. Oh, wow. Dude. He's like the nine tailed Midoriya fox of the Yeah, he of the hidden UA. Is he just like taking him somewhere? Yeah. Man, he got way more than he answered for yeah. or asked for. There's no way he could expect this though. Is this like a sign that he's getting the more percentage? Maybe. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, I don't know either, but I like it. I like this. I like Yuraka's backstory as a hero. Yeah. But will it That's work? That's crazy. What's gonna happen to him if it if it does if he does do that? Nothing unless he's able to break out and attack him. Yeah. I think Mr. Aizawa's gotta step in. What if Aizawa couldn't even stop him? I was I was thinking about that for a second. Can he even answer? There he goes. Whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no, he's one of those kind of guys. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh. So there's various abilities he can use? Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Does that mean that was the best quirk for the job? Huh. Oh, okay. Wow. That's pretty cool. Dude, if we got to all of them this season, that would be dope. Complete? Wait, so no one's completed it yet? Does that mean he'll pass down a complete one? Or he's Maybe. the last one? I was thinking he was the last one. I like it. He's still going. <laughs> Dude, he, oh, could he master something now? Maybe he can turn it into his own. Oh, I thought that was Setter. I was like, what is he doing there? But it's got to be, yeah. Hmm. I mean, he stopped it, so he has faith in his uh, protege. Yeah. He could do it again. He could yeah. do it again. He could stop him again. Woo! That was pretty good. Dude, Deku's got a new technique that we now see was kind of, I guess, passed down. But the way he described it was it gets... One for all gets stronger as it goes down a lineage, and he, his quirk was specific. Was one of his quirks was specifically this like erratic, like random, like attack. I don't know, but he, it, it was it was used in Deku's moment because he was trying to capture that technique is used to capture uh, people, but that thing was wreaking havoc, and he couldn't. The thing was he couldn't control it. And that, I wonder if that's what the guy meant by it can do more now because. It's cultivated in one for all. Like it yeah. was, I mean, what was it called? Whip or something? something it was destroying stuff. Yeah, it was just like a mind of its own. Like you said, kind of like a tail beast. 
Yeah, he did explode. Like, like it. yeah, it was crazy, man. But that just goes to show that the potential and his abilities now, he can learn so many more abilities. But what if he can make it his own? Like, he could have their abilities and then, tw like, do his own thing with it. Kind of like what he did with, you know, the... Yeah, that's that's a good point. And the fact that we didn't see All Might use anything except for, like, all right. these different punches is weird. But I guess because it says that it's completing with Midoriya, mm -hmm. that he's going to have them all, but on, like, another level. Yeah. And well, another thing that's cool is thinking back to... Where Eddie was, you know, kind of kept healing him and healing him. We saw him at 100%. Right. With just the one quirk. Mm -hmm. What if he could do all of all them? All of them, yeah. And I, right now, I was even thinking, I was like, when I saw the whip going everywhere, and he's like, you, you know, with, with one for all, it's going to be even better. And he's like, I didn't have this updated quirk when, when I, you know, it was with me. I don't know, I'm thinking in my mind, muscular, kind of how he kind of like wrapped around <laughs> the muscle fibers on his arm to make his fist strong. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if he can, like, power up his own attacks with that. Yeah. And then also, it would kind of, in a way, Maybe protect himself. Kind of like Dark Shadow because he can cloak himself. But I'm wondering, now that he can learn all these abilities, it's kind of similar to All For One now. Because he can learn all, all these oh, abilities. Oh, that's a maybe, good point. Maybe that's a connection there. That's 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 very interesting. We know in a previous season, they had these Nomus, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's All For One or the people you know in the, the villain arena. What if they tried to create like a Nomu? that is similar to all for one. Think of it like this. There's like five, you know, all for ones. And, okay. and and he has to go against something like that. Maybe he's trying to, basically what I'm saying is maybe he's trying to make like a situation, like biological, like w weapons for him so that he'll never be defeated again. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Because he, he can still come back and do terror, like terrorize the city yeah. if, if they break him out. And we so. don't even know what the Shigaraki and the rest of the crew are doing. They kind of mention him. I totally forgot. It seems like so long ago that they got that gigantic guy on their squad. Yeah. But it was the other day. So I, I, and then of course we saw Endeavor get attacked and Hawks get attacked mm -hmm. by the Nomu. So they're, yeah. either they're still making Nomus, that Doctor's probably still on their team somehow. And I don't know what they're doing. But this episode leaves me with a whole lot of questions. Oh, yeah. Because I understand that they're getting passed down, but I thought. All Might was saying all along that it gets passed down and cultivates itself and gets stronger as it goes. I automatically assume that All Might's power kind of was the cultivation of everybody's. I don't know what I didn't. I guess I didn't really think it through that much, but that their powers were all working together mm -hmm. to help All Might. Right. But if that's not the case, and only you only got to use your power and it just got a little boost, yeah. and now it's getting passed down, Deku's gonna be scary. Oh yeah. And All Might was able to go one on one v one with. With all for one twice now, I kind of feel like if Deku could power, if he could, well, if he could use 100% on all of them, he would completely he would obliterate be, him. I don't even, I can't even imagine. That would, that would be like, he'd be OP. He'd be, he'd be a beast. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, Bakugo, but you ain't catching up to that. And That's you, crazy. You kind of saw it there in their eyes. Like, you saw kind of worry from All Might, and I think even from uh, Eraserhead. Yeah. But Bakugo was kind of like, I don't know if he was really in shock. Yeah, it was like a mix between shock and worry. That's what I was thinking. I think he was. He seemed kind of worried it, to me mm -hmm. because it was it was brand new. He didn't know what it, he didn't know what it was. But one thing this did remind me of is if you go back and you watch the original Spider Man with Tobey Maguire when he's trying to use his web again, he's on the roof and he's like, "Go, go, web!" and he's doing all these different hand signs. Shazam! Go, go. Go web, go! I'm wondering if Deku's gonna try. Yeah. And like say, okay, well, if I was thinking in my head, I'm gonna catch this guy in this aggravated, what other phrases can I could I think? And then other quirks act. Yeah, that's true. See him try that. Maybe, and maybe he could force one to get unlocked soon. It'd be like too. the the five what is it, five modes of depression. <laughs> <laughs> and it brings out a different quirk. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kinda good. But this is gonna be cool. And this this is gonna make him think even a whole lot more. Oh yeah. This forward. strategy is on a different game now. I'm just imagining if he had just the three duos and he was going to fight like a, a huge villain. Like I'm thinking of the movie that's supposed to come out later this oh, year. Oh, the next one, yeah. Yeah. So like, like what if he was able to tap into even like a couple of them, you mm -hmm. know, and just had them two by the side? Dude, that's, that's a wrap, man. It was a great episode. I was very surprised. Very surprised. Yeah, I'm just, I'm baffled about Deku. That's crazy. 
I gotta give Yuraka props. Yeah, she came through. That yeah. scene, I said, I mentioned the Nine Tails thing, but it kind of did remind me of Naruto going ham and Sakura trying to stop him and then getting knocked down. Mm -hmm. And then it reminded me of something else that I can't remember at this point in time too. I don't. Know, it was the Avatar, maybe. Did the did Katara ever do that to him? To Aang, kind of comfort him. Yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. So both of those, but also I like Yuraka better than Sakura. Oh yeah. So I thought it was cool to see her backstory and the fact that. You know, she wanted to save people because it makes people happy, yeah. and it's it's another side of yeah. She wants to, she wants to make money, but she's not just like a heartless person that's right. just only doing it for making money. It's like it's also something that brings people joy and saving people. Yeah, and so it's cool to see her and Shinso kind of work together to, to save Deku. Yeah, cool to see. It, I mean, I'm thankful that Shinzo's quirk actually worked, but you could see, you could see, and it raised her his eyes. He was like, oh, I don't. Even I don't even know if I can stop this. Mm -hmm. He's looking out for his protege because he's letting the, the match go on. Yeah. So he's 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 trusting in him. That also kind of pays tribute to not only their relationship but like you know his trust in in his. In That's him. a good point. So honestly, Shinzo is. I'm starting to like him more and more. Oh yeah. He's he's becoming pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope. I think what Monomo was saying at the beginning of how him and Shinzo are alike, and Shinzo was like, no, nah, not really. I think that goes and proves it. Shinso was actually willing to help stop. Yeah. And Monomo was kind of just like waiting and then attacked really quickly. But it was it was fine to see. I mean, Shinso ended up attacking too. Yeah. But Monomo, I mean, he I don't think he would have switched sides <laughs> even if he had that quirk. Do I you, think he would have ran away. Do you think now this is probably a wait, but he did have brainwash, didn't he? Yeah. Because he kept asking yeah, questions. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. he could have done it too. Yeah. So yeah, that shows that they're not the same. That's what I'm that's what I was thinking. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Right. Oh, hey! Thank y'all for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode reaction and review. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Rumble. And if you like us, you can follow our friends on YouTube as well. If Jay Frizzle Clammy and Blocks for Gaming, Rich Aladdin for Short Films, or Tex08 for Sermons, and the Thought You Should Know podcast that talks all things mental health. That said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace!